an old screwdriver's handy with Fahrenheit rusty metal primer because when it's been sitting for a while it'll get a lot of solid sit in the bottom and you get a screwdriver in there and really mix it in before you um, start to uh, take some out never never draw from the container it's stored in always decant it into another container and uh, never put it back in any leftover because there can be um, particulates of rust in there for ferrous oxide and it will um, set the uh, ferronite rusty metal prime off. This is a good example for ferronite. Uh, see the bolts are starting to rust. I'll put uh, some ferronite on the right hand one. Left hand one I'll do now. But see the rust still um, blooming through the gal. The gal's still working to a degree but we're going to give it a hand and uh, help it last a lot longer. And you paint over the top of that. It'll seal it after we get two coats on and once you get any old paint on it uh, I, li I like the uh, silver kill rust or any of the kill rust ones, I find they stick quite well and there's no reason why you won't get another five to ten years out of it and what will kill it is when the um, uh, paint starts to break down. Okay I've sprayed some Fahrenheit on here, I'm just going to use a brush and spread it around well to make sure it wets out the whole area. Okay, okay here we are, we've got a uh, galvanised um, plate that support a fire hose bracket and uh, you can see there's rust starting to bloom through. The advantage of using Fahrenheit rusty metal primer in this application is it won't affect the gel. Most uh, rusty metal converters are high in phosphoric acid. I'll actually eat gel and paint away. So we'll paint this on and that'll anywhere where the rust is blooming through it'll stem it and it, two coats and it'll survive up to 12 months without having to recoat. Best if you put some paint over it but it'll survive without it. So put a liberal coat on, paint over the whole lot and go from there. Here's the fire hose reel stand. Uh, we saw the rust before. I've now got um, one, coat, uh, one coat on the left hand side, two coats on the right hand side. I got interrupted in a conversation so I didn't get the whole thing done. I'll just finish slapping the second coat on the left hand side and then from there any old paint can go over it. As soon as it's dry you can paint it, you don't have to wait 24 hours or anything like that. As soon as it's dry, you'll be 